After nearly an hour of hearing testimony against Quadrian Wilson, his brother had enough, and that's how his day in court ended this morning, swiftly escorted out. But answers surrounding why so many officers tried to arrest Wilson in February, including two who fired their guns, have been slow to come, if at all. Brad Hamilton watched today's hearing, and he's live in studio to tell us more about this case. Eric and Charlotte, to be clear, the charges Wilson was in court today are not from February 3rd when he was hurt and arrested. These are drug charges and could be why DCI agents were a part of that arrest, but investigators still are not talking. Frustration boiling over into fury. That outburst coming from Quadron Wilson's brother, angry over a lack of answers, claiming that police shot Wilson five times in the back while he was unarmed. Now, Wilson is accused of selling drugs that led to a deadly overdose in Madison in April of 2021. The state is trying to put together something because they have to react to what happened on February 3rd when Quadron was shot. Wilson's attorney, Steven Eisenberg, says it's suspicious that the Dane County DA's office would file these charges after the February 3rd arrest attempt when Wilson was hurt. Why they waited 10 months, uh, I can't tell you that. It's been more than one month since Wilson was hurt, taken into custody by 21 total officers, including two state agents who shot their guns. Since then, the Dane County Sheriff's Office has released few details, save for those totals and the names of the agents. This all adds up to enough evidence to allow the state to go forward. Back in the courtroom today, the judge ruled a phone number linked to Wilson and a suspect description, among so other you, details, you showed enough evidence that Wilson may have committed the drug crime. Boy, are we in trouble if light-skinned black male convicts you now. But Eisenberg says he is not done with his push to show that officers had no business arresting Wilson in the manner that they did back on February 3rd. In this case, it's weak. It's all weak. We did reach out to the Dane County Sheriff's Office and we continue to do that daily to answer the Wilson's family's questions and ours. Nearly every single day, the reply is simply nothing new to share today.